Harry and Meghan returned to the UK this week for the first time since attending the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will appear at events in London and Manchester, as well as jetting off to Germany to mark the one-year countdown to the Invictus Games. It is not known what day the couple will arrive on British soil, or if they will visit the Queen in Balmoral, but it is thought unlikely they will bring their children Archie and Lily on the working trip. They will head to Manchester on Monday for the One Young World Summit an event which brings together young leaders from more than 190 countries. Megan, a counselor for the organization, will give the keynote address at the opening ceremony. They will also meet a group of summit delegates doing outstanding work on gender equality, one young world said. The couple will then head to Germany for the Invictus Games Düsseldorf 2023 one-year-to-go event which is taking place on Tuesday, before returning to the UK for the Well Child Awards in London where Harry will deliver a speech on Thursday. Their visit to the UK will be the first time they have been back in the country since the Jubilee celebrations in early June, when they attended the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral. It comes just days after Meghan's wide-ranging interview with the cut in which she said it takes a lot of effort to forgive and hinted that she can say anything. In the interview, running to more than 6,000 words, Meghan said that just by existing she and Harry were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy before they stepped down as senior working royals. Harry and Meghan's trip falls in the same week the new prime minister is due to be announced and asked to form a government by the Queen. The monarch will appoint a new prime minister at Balmoral for the first time in her reign. The 96-year-old, who has faced ongoing mobility issues, traditionally holds audiences with outgoing and incoming premiers at Buckingham Palace. But Boris Johnson, who will tender his resignation, and the new Conservative Party leader who will be asked to form a government, either Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak, will travel to Balmoral Castle for the key audiences on Tuesday. Security will be at the forefront of Harry's mind as he travels from his home in California for the high-profile appearances. The Duke, who quit as a senior working royal in 2020, is bringing legal action over a decision not to allow him to pay for police protection for himself and his family when in the UK. This summer he won a bid to bring a high court claim against the Home Office. His challenge concerns the February 2020 decision of the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, Rivek, over his security, after being told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting. The royal family has been bracing itself for Harry's forthcoming tell, all book which he has vowed will be an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life. The memoirs were expected to be published in late 2022 by Penguin Random House but a release date has yet to be confirmed. There will be concern in royal quarters that the Duke will delve into his rift with his brother, the Duke of Cambridge, his troubled relationship with his father, the Prince of Wales, his view of stepmother the Duchess of Cornwall and the turbulent fallout of Mexit.